Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube creative studio. My name is Sonia and for today I prepared a video tutorial for beginners how to crochet the lovely cute a uh, handbag. It started as a circle, there is a flower in the middle, it's a sunflower, then I created the square. We will create the handle and the top with button closing. The pattern is very easy, uh, I use only basic stitches. The information you will find in the information box below this video and the written pattern is available for free at my website. So let's get started my crochet friends. I will use this really bright orange color, uh, then the brown, yellow and white, but you can choose any colors you like, any yarn you like. This yarn in one ball, 50 grams, has 150 meters, it's 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. I will use 4 millimeters crochet hook. Please prepare some scissors, the needles and some button of your choice, the button you like for closing. We will start with the brown color and we will make a magic circle at the beginning. And let's start row number one. Chain two, I don't count chain two as a stitch and yarn over, insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over, pull yarn through, yarn over, pull yarn through two, yarn over and pull yarn through two. This is a double crochet and I will place 16 double crochet stitches into magic ring. We need four corners and four sides, so that's why I will place 16 double crochet stitches into the magic ring to create the square later on and it will be really easy as 16 as a multiple of 4. Okay, so 16 double crochet stitches, then I will close the round with a slip stitch but for slip stitching I will use a new yarn this orange color so pull the end to close the magic ring pull it as tight as you can then insert the hook on the top of first double crochet we have created at the beginning prepare a new yarn and pull yarn through the top of the double crochet and through the loop on your hook. So we close the round with a slip stitch and we easily change the color. Now chain one and I will place a puff stitch in each stitch around. So insert the hook on the top of double crochet, grab the yarn, pull the yarn a bit, a bit more, yarn over, insert the hook in the same stitch, yarn over, pull yarn through, yarn over, second time, third time, and fourth time. Grab the yarn, pull yarn through, then yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook and fix it with a chain. Then chain one and place a puff stitch in next stitch and in each stitch around. Okay? So pull yarn, yarn over first time, pull yarn, second time, third time and fourth time. 
perfect then pull yarn through all loops on your hook and fix it with a chain then chain one and let's make another puff stitch and you will make 16 puff stitches around as you place a puff stitch in each stitch from the previous round okay one more time perfect now pull yarn through all loops on your hook and fix it with a chain then chain one insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over and the same stitch yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch yarn over and the same stitch yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch perfect and pull yarn through all loops on your hook and chain then chain one so easily speaking you will have 16 puff stitches around and chain one between them so at the end I will meet you so go ahead continue crocheting and once you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16 we will join the round with a slip stitch and again I will change the color so insert the hook on the top of the first puff I will use the light yellow color pull yarn through the top of the puff and through the loop on your hook so we nicely change the colors and we also join the round with a slip stitch okay now I will work in chain one spaces I will start with chain two and then I will place three double crochet cluster in the chain one space so I count chain two at the beginning as a stitch and I will join it with three unfinished double crochets okay one more and pull yarn through all loops on your hook perfect now chain two and place four double crochet cluster in next chain one space and I will place four double crochet cluster in each chain one space so at the end of this round you will have 16 four double crochet clusters and chain two between them okay so one don't finish it two don't finish it three don't finish and one more pull yarn through two and then yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook and fix it with chain then chain two and again four double crochet cluster in next chain space okay so easily speaking you place four double crochet cluster between two puffs from the previous round okay so I joined four double crochet clusters and fix it with a chain and chain two okay one more time first double crochet second one third 
and forth. Now yarn over and pull yarn through all loops on your hook. Chain one and then chain two. I love to fix puff stitches or clusters with um, chain one on the top and I tight it as tight as I can. Okay, so I will meet you at the end. We will close the round with a slip stitch and then you can cut the yarn. Just leave a longer tail for sewing ends on the back side. You can hide the ends now or later on. It's up to you. And then we will use the white color and we will create a square. So in next round I will create four corners and four sides. So make a slip knot. You can start in any chain two space anyone you like. So insert the hook into the chain two space and into the slip stitch and then chain three which is my first double crochet and then two more double crochets. So I will have at the beginning three double crochets in chain two space then chain three one two and three and then three more double crochets in the same chain two space one two and three. This is the first corner and I will repeat it four times. I will have four corners. Now let's make a side. So I will place three double crochets in the next three chain two spaces. So one, two and three. This is the first group. Then three double crochets in next, chain two space. This is my second group. And three double crochets in next, chain space. And this is my third group. This is it. And now I will make the corner. Okay, so we have three, three double crochets groups and now three double crochets. One, two and three. Then chain three, one, two, three and three double crochets in the same chain space. So we easily just finish the second corner and you can go ahead and continue work along the side. Three, three double crochets group, then the corner. One, two, three, then the corner. One, two, three, the corner. One, two, Three, three double crochets group and the corner and again one two three three double crochets group and this is my first corner so we will join the round with a slip stitch and then we will make one more round with double crochet stitches okay here I am so please close the round with a slip stitch place on the top 
of the first double crochet which is my third <laughs> chain from the beginning and then slip stitch in next two stitches to move into the corner okay so here i am now chain three which is my first double crochet and now work one more double crochet in chain space chain two and two double crochets in the same chain space so we have two double crochets chain two and two double crochets in the corner then very easily place a double crochet in each stitch till you reach the next corner okay so place a double crochet in each stitch so you will have we have 15 double crochets in the previous row so in each of them till you reach the corner here i am and again work two double crochets one and two chain two and two double crochets in chain space and then you can continue crocheting and place a double crochet in each stitch till you reach the next corner okay so this is it and again we will join the round with a slip stitch and if you want to make your square bigger just place a slip stitch in next two stitches and you can easily repeat the previous round so chain three double crochet in chain space so we have two double crochets chain two and two double crochets into the corner and again place a double crochet in each double crochet so you can make your square as big as you wish just repeat this row okay so repeat the row to make your square bigger and if you are satisfied with the size my size is 12 centimeters 4.7 inches and this one row has one centimeter is about half inch okay so let's add as many rows as you wish i'm satisfied with this size um, and i will show you how to make the last round this is the easy round i will use only single crochet stitches so let's move by slip stitching into the corner and then place three single crochets in the corner and chain two space so three single crochets into the corner and then one single crochet in each stitch around okay So this is it so if you are satisfied with the size of your square make a last round with single crochet stitches three single crochets in the corner and then one single crochet in each stitch around okay one two three single crochets into the corner here i am I just finish the second square look at them I love it I will show you how to make an invisible join if you have want to have the squares nicely joined inside the needle under the V of the first single crochet you created at the beginning and then 
between front and back loop of the last single crochet you created in this round and pull the yarn on the back side nicely joined I love it then you can hide the ends and I will show you how to join the squares and we will create the side and the handle okay so this is it I absolutely love the square so you can choose any color you like or you can choose any uh, other color you like I decided to use this orange one I like this bright color and we will start from the corner you can choose any corner and I will work in the back loop so this is the back loop now it's close to us this is it and I will work along back in the back loops only okay so start in any corner you like choose the color you like and make a slip knot pull the loop through the um, back loop and then chain one this is it and I will place half double crochet in each stitch around just please make sure you work only into the back loop okay so half double crochet in each stitch and we will work along three sides okay so this is it and again I will give you instructions how to make the side and you can make the side as wide as you wish just to repeat rows with all double crochet stitches okay so continue along one two and three sides here I am and then we can very easily continue and to create the handle love this work it's cute isn't it so make a foundation chain and make the chain as long as you wish you can make a really short handle or a long one to create a crossbody back so it's up to you just keep continue crocheting and make a foundation chain easy once you are happy with the length we will keep continue crocheting half double crochet stitches and we will work in rounds just make sure your foundation chain is not twisted I will check mine yep. this is it perfect now we can join the round with a slip stitch place on the top of the first half double crochet and now I will very easily work in round so chain one and place a half double crochet in each stitch around and also in each chain so we will finish at this place where we started and we will join the round with a slip stitch again so place a half double crochet in each stitch this is it 
So please go ahead. Okay. One half double crochet in each stitch around. This is it. And also place a half double crochet in each chain. Half double crochet in each chain. Again, make sure the chain is not twisted and you work on the right side of the foundation chain. Again, I will meet you once you finish the round here and you can very easily repeat row number two, place a half double crochet in each stitch around, now it will be easy, you can repeat row number two to create row number three or four, it depends how wide the side you wish to have and once you are satisfied with the side we will join the side with the next square and it will be easy I will show you how to do it we will join the side and the square with slip stitching again make sure you work on the back loop of these single crochet stitches so let's get started chain one and then remove the hook from the loop and insert the hook in the back loop and the corner stitch pull the working loop through this back loop in the corner stitch so we join the side and a square now make a half double crochet in next stitch and slip stitch here in the single crochet on square just make sure you work in the back loop okay so slip stitch to join the side and the square and again in the next stitch half double crochet and then a slip stitch in next single crochet on the square easy then a half double crochet in next stitch and a slip stitch and back loop of the next single crochet it's nicely joined it's absolutely seamless there is no extra sewing in this project we easily join the back with slip stitching so a half double crochet and slip stitch in next stitch this is it so you can go ahead keep continue crocheting and I will show you how to make the top of the bag and the button closing and this is it my crochet friends <laughs> okay so 
so you can join the side and the square now or later on and now let me show you how to make the top I will add only one row of double crochet stitches on the top of each square and I will work in back loop only again I will start in the corner make just one row and again you can choose any color you like I will use the white one make a slip knot pull the loop through the corner the corner stitch this is the place where we join the side and the square as well now chain 2 make sure you work in back loop and place a double crochet in each stitch till end of row okay so a double crochet in each stitch back loop only it's easy and you can choose any color you like for the top of the back Okay, I will meet you at the end of this row, so please keep continue crocheting, go ahead. Here I am. Now chain 2 and place a slip stitch on the corner on the opposite square. Again, it's a place where we already joined the handle and the square so place a slip stitch in this stitch now then you work and place a slip stitch in just finish chain okay so easily speaking we move back on the top of double crochet corners from the previous row now I will place a double crochet in each stitch and we nicely join the row placed on the opposite side on the opposite square this is it look at my work we nicely join the rows and you can keep continue crocheting till the end of row and again we will join the corners okay and this is the place where I will put the button you can choose any button you like any color you like so please go ahead join the back and finish the top and I will show you how to finish and end up the rows okay so look at my work both squares are joined together I'm at the end so you can cut the yarn and again use an invisible stitch to join you can use the needle or your crochet hook insert the hook into the first stitch and pull yarn under the V and then into the last stitch between front and back loop and pull yarn between front and back loop through and into the back side and this is the way how we will join the top of the back as well ok 
Okay, so we can cut the yarn. Here I am, you see, I'm in the corner. I placed the double crochet in the last stitch in the row. And now you can join the sides or the top with the slip stitch or use my way to make an invisible stitch. Okay, so insert the hook on the top of the first double crochet under the front and back loop and pull yarn under the V, under the front and back loop like this and then insert the hook between front and back loop of the last created double crochet here I am and pull the yarn between front and back loop into the back side nicely joined isn't it I love to make the tops this lovely joint and this is it my crochet friends now we can attach the pattern in the middle of the row so let's count the stitches and find the middle stitch and then you can join the button and easily pull it between double crochets on the opposite side okay so let's count the stitches and find the middle stitch you can compare it with the flower perfect i'm in the middle and then use the sewing needle and white yarn and attach the button you can choose any button you like any color and shape you like and then wrap the button and hide both ends easy <laughs> Look at my work, it's amazing, it's cute and easy to make it. And this is it my crochet friends. I always do the measurement at the end, so we have 12 centimeters, 5 inches square, 2.5 centimeters, which is 1 inch, this is the side and the handle let's measure the length of the handle okay i will fold it into the middle so approximately it's 40 which means uh, 80 centimeters in total and 31 inches and this is it my crochet friends this is also the end of my video tutorial i would like to thank you very much for watching look at my work once again it was easy we created two squares with the flower sunflower in the middle then we joined them with uh, orange color to create sides and handle and then we made the top with button closing so this is it my crochet friends in case of any questions please don't hesitate to contact me or put the comment in the box below this video if you like this video tutorial please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel wish you happy crocheting take care and bye for now bye bye